Welcome back. Time now for the start of a regular new series of features on the Bike Show that are designed to inform you about what is quite possibly the most important element of your bike's technology. You could have half a million rands worth of bike with all the latest, greatest electronic riding aids, but if you skimp on the tyres, it's all for nothing. It is impossible to overstate how significant are these black hoops that connect you and your bike to the road or gravel or dirt or race circuit. Everyone likes to save a buck, we know that, but if there's one place where you should probably avoid going for the cheapest possible option, it's tyres. And buying used, that's probably also not a good idea. Ask me. I spent most of my short racing career competing on used rubber and my nickname was not Pole Position Pom. It was Dump It Durrans. Or Crash Mat. So in an effort to spread as much useful information as possible, we have hooked up with the most knowledgeable tyre crew in the country. Bike Tyre Warehouse is the nation's largest retailer of tyres with outlets in Midrand, Boxburg, Cape Town, East London and George. The head honcho is a man called Bruce de Kock, who has silicon and carbon black running through his veins and survives on a diet of vulcanised rubber sprinkled with valve stems. He is partnered with just about every top brand of tyre in South Africa and has even hooked up with a major manufacturer to design and import his own range of rubber, which goes under the name of BAT. Which, like all tyres these days, isn't really rubber anymore, but more on that in a future episode. The Bike Tire Warehouse Group generally has at least 5,000 tyres in stock, so you'd have to be riding something pretty unique not to be catered for immediately if you're looking for new rubber for your bike. But that still doesn't make prying open your wallet any easier for a product that often seems to wear out so horribly quickly. I've tried to turn it into more out of a grudge purchase into more of an exciting bike. So whether you're going to buy a set of gloves or a helmet, and I find if, you know, if my guys, if you give the right advice and the guy's standing looking at a, at a row of tires here, he, he gets excited about it because now all of a sudden, wow, I didn't know that tire mm. could do that or that tire specifically for that bike. So yeah, I, I think it's education and advice which creates that a bit more of excitement. Indeed. I want to go to bike tire warehouse to learn about uh, specific tires for my bike. Uh, or you want to be on the bike show and learn about it, right? <laughs> <laughs> what, what sort of things are we going to cover? We're going to have an episode every sort of two weeks. What are, what are we going to look at? I think we, we must maybe start with the basics of, of tire technology. You know, let the guys understand what a load index is, how to read a, spa, uh, a speed rating on their tire, what the production date is, how to read that on a tire. Um, you know, there's so many little things that are basics that if a guy understands and he knows how to read the sidewall of a tire, it can give him so much information to make a choice on his own, even without anyone giving him any sort of advice. With introductions out of the way, we get to the first tip. Okay, tip for the day. Most important thing about your tires is the tire pressure. Um, obviously, your service manual specifies your tire pressures. Rather, if you can, test and check your tire pressures when they're cold as opposed to when they're warm. If you do have to test when they're warm and check your tire pressures, just make sure if it's, if it's 2.6, go down to 2.5 and never deflate a hot tire. Interesting stuff. And in case you were wondering, I think the manufacturers reckon a cold ambient temperature is 20 degrees. So if you're setting your tyre pressures for a morning ride and it's winter and you happen to live in Sutherland, the temperature is minus four degrees. I presume you'll have to adjust the pressure accordingly and the same goes if you're checking your pressures before a summer's evening blast and you live in Nelspreet and the ambient temperature is knocking on 40 degrees. That's a 44 degree difference between those two locations which must have a bearing on what pressures you set. Thankfully, we have Bruce and Bike Tire Warehouse to give us further answers, so make sure you tune in again next week when we'll bring them to you.